There are new moves today by the Obama administration which could restrict America's Second Amendment rights to keep and bear arms. Now, the president wants the Senate to approve a 12-year-old treaty drafted by the Organization of American States. The president believes it will help curb illegal gun traffic to Mexico. But many in this country think it's a veiled attempt at gun control. Lisa Sylvester reports. The firearms trafficking treaty requires guns exported or imported between Latin America and the United States be clearly marked with the name and place of the manufacturer. The treaty also establishes a new system for tracing firearms. I'm urging the Senate in the United States to ratify an inter-American treaty known as SIFTA to curb small arms trafficking that is a source of so many of the weapons used in this drug war. The treaty, called the Inter-American Convention Against the Illicit Manufacturing and Trafficking in Firearms, Ammunition and Explosives, and Other Related Materials, is stalled. It was originally signed by President Clinton in 1997, but never ratified by the U.S. Senate. Proponents, including President Obama, say that it will help curb the violence in Mexico by tracing illegal weapons back to the last seller. But talk of reviving the treaty was met with a lukewarm response by Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid, who said, quote, We must work with Mexico to curtail the violence and drug trafficking on America's southern border and must protect Americans' Second Amendment rights. I look forward to working with the president to ensure we do both in a responsible way. The gun lobby already has its sights on blocking the treaty, arguing it will do little to shut down the lucrative drug trade, but could lead to an internationalization of gun control laws. Most of these proposals are, are, have potential for abuse, not only by gun control groups here, but other countries that would like to force the United States to adopt more gun control laws. The chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, Senator John Kerry, said he'll work to get the treaty through the Senate, but it is an uphill climb. As a treaty, 67 votes are needed. Kitty? Thanks very much, Lisa Sylvester.